All right, guys, so far what I did was take off the intake as well as I took off two screws, the one from right here and for the intake, you have to take this one off. Up next is down there, plus whatever's behind this shield as well. I believe it's two bolts. All right, so here we go. It came off. Put the screws back because I am not losing any screws. Not at all. Anyways, there's the turbo right there. It's time for me to start taking lines apart and then down pipe. And then it should be able to come out. All right, so I already took off the shield right here, those two screws. Now we have more access to the turbo. Time to take off lines and everything else in between. But that's the little shield right here that I took off. Those two screws right there. All right, guys. So what I did so far is pretty much I removed, of course, the downpipe. The downpipe was just a V-band for the actual turbo. Then after that, I just had to take off these two bolts here, the holder part here, and it was just wiggling out from there. I also took off the support brace for the turbo from here. And then since we are doing the MQB location oil drain, we're gonna be popping this bad boy out later, and we're gonna be plugging this one up as well. But that'll be when we take everything else, everything as far as the turbo out, which is right here. And yeah, up next, what I'm going to be working on is taking off this shield so I can better see from the top as well. Then from there, I'll take off the, well, I'll unplug the L2 sensor and then I'll start taking off all the lines and then hopefully it'll come out. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so far I took out the downpipe of course, I um, disconnected all of the hoses, well for the turbo, except the coolant inlet, I still have to get that bolt out and then disconnect it, and then after that I should be able to take off these four plugs and remove the stock turbo. Get the fuck out of here.